Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. In this video, we're featuring the sweet Oreo. Oreo was featured in a couple of our past videos, Oreo's first grooming, Oreo's second grooming. We figured why not use Oreo again? But the purpose of this video is to show you a couple of techniques that we use in positioning our left hand to maximize the grooming process and get the job done as quickly as possible. If you like this video, guys, please do us a favor, smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Okay guys, so we're just gonna dive right in here and we're gonna start with his back left leg. And again, this video is based on positioning and keep in mind all dogs are different. As we already know about Oreo, he did tear his ACL. So you really need to know your dogs. Uh, get to know as much information about your dogs as possible there, so that you can handle them in a way that's just more most comfortable for them. Uh, but again, I want you to notice my right hand in this. Uh, because again, with the torn ACL, you don't want to be lifting the leg too much or too high. And we do everything in our power to kind of support Oreo as we're going along. So I'm doing a 4F all, all over on him. So uh, in, in working on his back left leg here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm, I'm going to kind of just do as much as I can without lifting his leg, okay, like this. Um, and then what I want you to notice though is the positioning part of what I do with my right hand here is because rather than lift up his leg or hit his toes with the clipper I want to grab like this and I'm using my whole forearm here and I'm just going to lift that way I can get a smooth clipper motion right down his leg like that. And, and I'm supporting him so that there's no pressure. You guys, it's also going to come in handy when you're, when you're brushing, okay? Just that, that slight lift there and support was, is going to allow you to get right down here in the hock area uh, without having the brush hit the table or anything. Again, just that slight little lift right here and using my right arm is going to allow you to do that. Okay, guys, so moving along. We're just going to go over to his right rear leg now. And again, just going to grab everything I can without lifting his leg. Okay, and again, we're just doing a 4F all over. They want him short. So um, again, we're going to use the same, same thing we did on the other leg. We're just going to kind of lift and do this. You see? Once you get used to that, you're going to find that you're going to get a, a much nicer finish as well. And we're just taking the pressure off of his back legs. Okay, so here, now you can see all this hair here. We want to get our clippers in there. It's very difficult to get the clippers in there because you can see the size of the clippers don't really fit. Um, so what we want to do is uh, I'm going to grab the tail. Again, just positioning is everything. I want to get to that, but you know, you got this big, beautiful, fluffy tail in the way, and I don't want to you know, clipper the tail in any way, this is what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tail of my left hand and I'm going to pick his right rear leg up like this and I'm going to support him as well. Notice, see this? I'm supporting him and I'm going to grab and get my clippers in there just like that. Let's see if you can see that better. Just like that. You see? And I'm supporting him with my wrist. Um, he's like sitting on my hand right there. Again, just taking all that pressure off of him. And then what we're going to do here with the left leg is I'm going to, again, just get this tail out of the way, but I'm going to do it with my opposite hand. It, it's good if you're ambidextrous as a groomer. Um, okay, and I'm going to lift and support. And it's going to be brief. And I'm supporting him here, you see? supporting, taking that pressure off of him, giving him that fourth leg there with my hand. Now, people ask all the time, they say, you know, how come, you know, my dog lets you do it? It's the most common question that we get and not me. And basically, guys, it's just, you know, number one, we're table training the dogs. We get them used to the table. We, we you know, we do this all the time and it's, it's a slow process, but by making it easier for them, um, they're going to stay still better, you know, because they're going to feel comfortable. 
uh, where if you're just kind of grabbing the legs and lifting the legs and doing all of that, that and not doing it methodically, um, you're going to cause the dog to feel frantic and not trust you. Okay, guys, so we're going to clip her under here and his penis area. Uh, so what I want to do is kind of, again, just I'm grabbing the tail, I'm supporting him, and just lifting up, okay? And again, this is just going to allow you to get in here, um, and we're, we're supporting him. You see my left hand? I don't know if you can see my left hand, but focus on my left hand, just support supporting him use your fingers use your fingers to support use your wrist to support you see I'm literally holding up his body weight and getting into there with my clippers another thing you want to do is you want to use your hands to get the penis out of the way if I'm using a 5f up in here I don't want to you know accidentally clipper his little penis here that would be terrible so what we do is we we get it out of the way push it out of the way and now we can get up and under here and do our do our trimming okay you especially want to be careful coming this way you see if his penis is there and i'm coming to, that's that's just terrible you, you'll you'll end up cutting him you don't want that to happen at all so again we're just moving that penis right out of the way and grabbing the hair. Trust me, you'll appreciate that. Okay guys, so we're gonna work the back of his neck here. So now most dogs have, you know, this little skin flap here because of just the way they are designed. Uh, so what we wanna do is I'm gonna take the noose off real quick. It's okay, Oreo, good boy. And I'm holding his head at this point, okay? Cause I wanna, I don't have the noose on him. So I definitely wanna keep my hands on him at all times. And I'm kind of just holding his head right here. <laughs> Oreo, good boy. Oh, good boy. Okay, Bobo, come here, turn this way. And a go oh boy, uh, just so that I can position him and grab all this hair right here behind the neck, all down the neck. And what we're going to do here is even stretch this up a little bit so we can get into that little crease we just mentioned. Okay, I'm just going to do all this, grab all that hair right from behind the head, all the way down the neck. I'm going to lift this, get under here. Okay, so it's all really just moving things around, positioning where we want our clippers to go. Like even here, I'm supporting his ear flap as I'm kind of blending this ear, you see? Um, just getting here a little better. So again, I'm just, see how I'm holding his muzzle here? keeping his head still and I'm not gripping or in, gr gripping him tightly or anything it's just he he just is so used to it at this point that he knows um, and dogs will just get used to the whole process and it's all practice it's all how you do it we're just gonna pull this forward get into this little crease area here see because when he puts his head up see that uh, that's gonna all bunch up there the skin and again we're just kind of Supporting him, supporting his ear, blending off of his ear here. Lifting his ear, getting near his neck. Good boy, Oreo. You're such a sweetheart. We're even going to take our 4F. It's, again, I'm still holding him, still holding his head. You know. And just start blending down his ears a little. Good boy, Oreo. What a sweetheart body. What a good boy. Okay, another thing we're going to do is, I'm going to come up on this. If you're not experienced, I don't suggest that you do this. But I'm spreading his skin here. Um, the crease here, you don't want to grab right in here it, it this i've cut many a dog by not being careful here or working too quickly so we really want to spread and really go slowly see how i'm moving his ear out of the way so that i can get down his neck I'm supporting his chin with my wrist see so the purpose of this video is really how to position the dogs and yeah, I know we're gonna get a lot of, you know, he's so calm. He wasn't always, you know, he's, 
he's learned over time. We've been grooming Oreo now for a couple of years, so it takes time. It's not something that happens overnight, um, but it does happen, especially if you just position them, make them feel as comfortable as possible. Good boy, Oreo. All right, we're gonna throw the noose back on. So now we can just breathe a little easier. Good boy, Oreo. Good boy. Oh, what else can I show you here? All right, so here, we're doing a front leg. You know, you can get under here with the clipper too. If you're trying to get into, just gotta be careful with that armpit skin. But by lifting the leg here, you can kind of get right under here. Okay, get in there, over here too. You just lift that leg, you get in, in here. Again, you just want to be very careful with that, um, the skin in the armpit. You don't want to cut, that cuts very, very easily. So you just want to be really, really careful. We're just kind of tapping, tapping around him. He's pulling away a lot, so you see how he's pulling away? So, because he doesn't like his front legs being done so much. So what we'll do is, you know, just kind of give, give it to him, give it to him, let, let him. And then you see, very gently go over it. Even though he doesn't like it, you can see him looking at it. But just by lifting, we can get it done. Okay, so we're just gonna stay up in his head area here. It's okay, Bubba. Again, I'm holding his chin. Just gonna kind of scoop out. Come across here, scoop out on this side, scoop out on this side. And that's it, see? We're just getting the clipper in there. You know, we can do this. We can kind of come across here. Um, again, guys, if you're not experienced, don't do what I'm doing right here. But I'm just kind of showing you how we position him using our left hand. Okay guys, with, with, this, with this right back pad, we're going to just kinda, again, just get the tail out of the way using our left hand, and we're gonna support as well. So tail out of the way, support, and we're gonna lift the leg, and we're just gonna kinda do his pad here. Get that pad done. nice and clean, okay? And you can see he's sitting on my hand right here, you see? So we're taking all that pressure off of his leg. Just like that. Get that pad done. There you go. So on this right front, same thing. I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to sneak under him. Okay, so I'm right at his, his uh, chest here. And I'm going to grab, okay? And I'm going to just pull up. So I'm fully supporting him here, you see? So he doesn't feel like a three-legged animal. He feels supported. And again, we're just gonna briefly go over his pads. Just how do we make the dogs most comfortable while doing something that, you know, we know that they're tolerating at best. You know, most dogs don't enjoy getting groomed. Some do, but it's something that they tolerate. So how do we make it easier? We make it easier by just making it easier for them. You know, not, you know, if I lifted him from here, you know, see, he's already acting weird. But if I, if I kind of support him, you know, it's, it's just a lot easier. He feels more comfortable with me holding him as opposed to just lifting the foot and having him pull away. You see, they'll, they'll pull away if you just focus on grabbing the foot. So you want to kind of finesse it a little bit. You want to get under, grab, and turn, and, and just you know, kind of finesse it a little bit as opposed to, oh, you are real, as opposed to just grabbing the foot. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want to do. Okay, guys, so, uh, you know, left rear. Again, we're just going to lift the leg, but I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to support with my fingers. I'm going to use my fingers. See? See my fingers right here? Hold them up. There you go. Just like that. And now you can get to that pad better. You see? Especially with a dog that, you know, suffered a torn ACL. You don't want to put any pressure on that ACL. If I was to lift him here, it's just going to cause so much pressure right here. But by simply just kind of lifting and supporting, uh, you're taking all that pressure off of the ACL area. Just like that, okay? Use your left hand. 
It's very, very important. You, you really want to use your left hand to achieve what you need to achieve with your right hand in the clippers. Okay guys, so the purpose of this video is just to definitely show you guys how we position dogs and we just wanted to feature Oreo again because again Oreo is just such a sweet puppy. Uh, you can see him in our other videos, puppy's first grooming, Oreo's first grooming. This is Oreo. You could just see what an angel he's become and um, always was. So yeah, we just wanted to feature this. Uh, again guys, positioning is I would say 75% of what we do so that we can um, get, the, get the job done. You can see how I'm just kind of positioning his head even while I'm finishing him and doing some clipper work on his head. Uh, but guys, listen, we really appreciate you stopping by once again. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to our channel. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for checking us out. Good boy, Oreo. Good boy, buddy. Boo boy, boo boy.